I first got my hands on a Note Edge three months back. I imported one from Japan and now for the last month or so, this Indian Note Edge has been my primary device for the most part. Now with Samsung coming out of the curved edition of the S6, I feel this is as good a time as any to go back to the Note Edge, see if the Edge display helped or was it more of a hassle as the novelty factor wore off. But before we do that, if this is your first time here or in case you just can't remember, my name is Ash, this is C4E Tech and you're watching my second review of the Note Edge. Let's get started. As always, let's start with the build. No, actually let's not do that. Build, design, camera, we've talked about all this in my original review and they haven't really changed till date. Today, let's just focus on that curved edge display and how it's turned out a few months in. In the time I've spent with it, there have been things I've liked, things I've disliked and let's start with things that I've liked. Number one, if you are looking at this phone, this might be pretty important to you. The Note Edge is a great conversation starter, a head turner. I've had people right from taxi drivers to security officials at airports ask me about the Note Edge, uh, what's that crazy display, how much does it cost and stuff like that. In a sea of similar looking Samsung phones, the Note Edge does manage to stand out. I'm gonna be honest here, I dislike the recent apps key on the Note 4. Samsung's heavy touch whiz means the recent apps key does have a slight delay. I found myself loving the fact that I can launch my apps right from the Edge display here. I ended up using that so much that I moved all my apps to the Edge and now just have a few widgets on my home screen. The Edge panels option under settings also lets you choose a recent apps panel. That helped a lot with multitasking. It helped switch back and forth between apps real quick. I would like for this panel to just have the app icons instead of the entire names though. Anyway, pulling down from the top, you get access to a bunch of Edge screen only apps and again, the flashlight and the recorder are two that I ended up utilizing here. Controlling music playback from the Edge screen was also another I found useful. You can also get to the Edge panel settings by just sliding from the bottom and hitting that cog icon. And the Express Me option here lets you set a different wallpaper just for that Edge screen. This kinda calls attention to that Edge display. You can also customize the message that gets displayed on the Edge screen. It's worth noting that any changes here will just change the text displayed while the screen's locked. To change the text that's displayed when the bar is minimized, you'd have to go back and select the Edge screen text. Now, whenever you use an app, the, the Edge screen minimizes and the text you've set is dimmed out and displayed. Talking about dimmed out, the night clock option is pretty sweet as well. While I can see others using it as an insomniac, I sleep very light and even the dimmest of lights bother me so I tend to leave it off. But I do like quickly swiping over the edge screen to check the time, that's pretty sweet. Anyway, let's quickly jump into the things I dislike. Well, number one, I mentioned this in my original review as well, the curved part of the screen is much smaller than this bar you actually see. So there's a bit of overlap at times and how that affects you? is when you say texting and you get a notification, you'd have to wait for that notification to go away before you can access those letters below. That can get annoying real soon if, you, if you're if you someone who receives a bunch of notifications. Number two, ergonomics. Don't get me wrong here, 95% of the time I've had no issues with the ergonomics. If you can use a Note 4 or any large screen device, you should be right at home with the Note Edge. But at times when I stretch my hand across the screen to hit an icon to the, uh, at the top left, my palm hits the edge screen and that disables the rest of the screen. I then have to maneuver a little to actually hit that icon. Doesn't happen often enough to annoy me a lot, but isn't rare enough for me to not bring it up in this video either. Number three, this is kind of common to all Samsung phones, touch with lag. As much as I love having all my apps on the edge display, there is a slight delay when opening a folder. It's minor, yes, but over time this can end up getting a little annoying. Number four, the inability to pull down the notification bar when in landscape mode with the edge display on top. This usually irks me a lot if I'm in bed and want to lock the orientation to landscape. Not a huge issue though, but I mean, I just end up turning the phone around to get it done. So as you can see, both the list, the list of things I like and the list of things I don't aren't really game changers here. And talking about all these, it is a little easy to forget that this is still a Note 4 underneath, as in the Note Edge brings with it everything the Note 4 does. Well, almost everything. It does not work with the Gear VR. The battery is a little smaller. But even then, thankfully, even after the Lollipop update, the battery life has remained stellar. About 90% of what I get with the Note 4. The Note Edge even feels a little faster. The theoretical performance after the Lollipop update is great too. 
So should you get the Note Edge? Well, if you are looking at the Note 4 already, then the Note Edge is a more interesting device to yourself and to those around you. If that's something that's important to you, and if you do have the cash to spare, obviously, then yes, I'd recommend the Note Edge. If you do already own a Note 4, the Note Edge doesn't do enough to justify buying it. So that's just my opinion though. What do you guys think? Given the choice between a Note Edge and the Note 4 today, what would you end up picking? And why would you do that? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. So with that, I guess we get to the end of this video. For more information on the Note Edge, feel free to check out my original review of the Note 4 and the Note Edge. And the links to those will be available in the description down below. You can also find them annotated to the side. Uh, to the side, I guess this side. Yeah, I guess it's this side. So if you do, if you do want to pick a Note Edge app, you can do that from Amazon or Flipkart. I'll leave links in the description as well. So hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And for more videos like this, do stay subscribed. So that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this is Ashia from C4E Tech signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.